Awakening with the first ray of the sun, my day begins in the heart of the Grand Palace of Thebes, the royal capital during Egypt's New Kingdom period. As a pharaoh, I am both king and deity, ruling the two lands of Egypt, a human manifestation of Horus, and the intermediary between the gods and the world of men. My morning starts with the royal purifications performed by the highest ranking priest. Water from the sacred Nile is poured over me, symbolic of the renewal of life, brought about by the river's annual flooding. I'm then anointed with sacred oils, scented with myrrh and frankincense. My attire is chosen carefully, the royal linen kilt, collar, bracelets and armlets, all inscribed with protective spells. On my head rests the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt, symbolizing my reign over the unified lands. Breakfast is served in the Royal Hall, a feast of bread, fruit and roasted meat, accompanied by sweet beer. I dine in the company of my great royal wife, the Queen, and my royal children, our conversation punctuated by the melodic strumming of a harpist performing in the background. Afterwards, I retreat to my audience chamber. My advisors, scribes and generals await me, bringing news, reports and dispatches from all over the kingdom and beyond. Our discussions range from trade agreements with the Mediterranean lands to the ongoing construction projects like temples and my glorious mortuary complex to military campaigns in far off Nubia and Canaan. Each decision carries the weight of Maat, the concept of truth, balance and order, a principle I uphold above all else. Come midday, it's time for the daily temple rituals. As the Pharaoh, it's my sacred duty to appease the gods. I lead a procession to the Grand Temple of Amun-Ra, the King of the Gods. Within the temple's inner sanctum, in the company of high priests, I offer food, wine and incense, praying for the prosperity and protection of Egypt. Returning to the palace, lunch awaits. The royal chefs outdo themselves daily, creating elaborate dishes of fish, fowl, vegetables and fruits accompanied by jars of beer and wine. The meal, enjoyed in the cool shade of the palace gardens, offers a brief respite from the day's responsibilities. In the afternoon, I review my army, a force that has made Egypt an international superpower. Inspecting the chariots, the infantry, and the archers, I discuss strategies with my generals, my mind constantly thinking about maintaining Egypt's vast territories. The day winds down with family time. I watch my children play the ancient game of Seneth, teach them the history of our ancestors, and tell them stories of the gods, shaping their young minds to understand the sacred role they'll one day inherit. The setting sun paints the Nile with hues of gold and crimson, a sight I take in from the palace balcony. Dinner, as grand as the previous meals, is served under the starlit sky. It's a time of camaraderie, laughter and music, a perfect conclusion to the day. Before retiring to my bedchamber, I pay homage to Nut, the sky goddess, and ask for her protection over Egypt. Wrapped in fine linen sheets, I drift off to sleep. Another day, as a pharaoh of the new kingdom complete. My life is one of privilege, but also immense responsibility, a task given by the gods themselves, for I am their voice, their embodiment, serving the kingdom that is Egypt.